Hi Scorpio, welcome to your singles reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Scorpio, we're going to take a look at new love who's coming towards you. I decided to bring this series back along with the spirit messages. So the spirit messages are out already for all the signs as well as the love readings. So this was part of an option that was voted for the uh, readings most wanted on the channel. I did have a poll on my community section about a month ago to vote for what kind of readings you would like to see. Spirit messages and singles was one of the options and it was voted back in. So please leave me some feedback, comments on how you like these readings. I may or may not continue them down the road, but for now I will and see how it goes. So I hope you enjoy this um, and it resonates for you in some way, shape or form. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, male or female. Please keep in mind, it can also pick up on past, present or future energies. Please only take it how it resonates for you, I guess, in a way. So this is intended for someone who is totally single. They don't have anybody and they're wondering, you know, who's coming towards me? You know, is there any new love coming my way? So this is intended for that. If you do have a connection with someone, whether or not you're together, I would suggest watching my other love readings. That is a more of a love connection reading. This is more intended for totally single people with nobody who wants to know who's coming towards me. So... Anyway, Scorpio, let's see. So what I'm going to do here is pull an energy card. What is their energy? What kind of energy are they sitting in? It could be their energy, energy around them, a situation. Then we'll get a spirit energy here. What is their spirit like? <clears throat> and then we'll get a love energy card. What is their love energy like? And we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at um, how and where you can meet this person, a timeline of like possibly when. And then what kind of connection it can be between you and this person. So Scorpio, let's see for Scorpio. Welcome. I hope everybody's doing well and you are staying uh, safe during this time. Most of my timelines have to say have been coming out mostly summer to the end of the year, which would make sense because of the current situation. All right. So let's see. What this person's energy is like new love coming in for scorpio spirit please oh my candle went out so just let me replace that because i like to have all my candles oops burning which i didn't notice if it just went out or if it was out before i started because i would have replaced it before so sorry about that so let's get that burning all right all right, so what is the energy for Scorpio's new love, incoming person, coming their way, spirit please, for Scorpio, incoming person, new love. Okay, I'm not going to take this one because I just, just got this from my previous reading and I don't like to take cards that came out in a previous reading uh, that I had, I had just completed. So we have patience here. So someone who's very kind, patient. Um, believes in divine timing, the law of attraction. I'm getting all these messages from spirit. We have 16 here, which is about seven. Is a very divinely guided energy. I, I'm okay. I'm getting this message. This person believes in everything always hap happens for a reason. Fate, destiny, and divine timing, and everything has a purpose and a meaning. Also, so I'm getting a very calm, peaceful, patient um, energy here. With this person all right very tranquil and peaceful they may love the winter time because i see like a very um there's snow and there's it looks like a very cold energy i think this person loves the winter time they love the snow in the winter energy of the winter time they like the crisp, clean, clear energy of winter, I feel, also. All right, so let's see. They've been, I feel like they've been very patient through this time, too, because um, this whole thing did start out in, you know, winter. So I feel like they've been very patient through this time. They're being patient. But I do see a little orange and red here. So even though they're being patient, and they're calm and tranquil. They do still have a little bit of fire and passion within them. <clears throat> All right, so what is the spirit energy like 
for new love for Scorpio, incoming person, spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is this person's spirit like? And we have be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved in to be proud. So I feel like this person getting a lot of green, which is about the um, hot chakra. So I think this person is proud. They're thankful. Uh, they're humble. They're not afraid to be proud of themselves or, you know, do what's right for them either. You know, I'm not getting like an ego energy. I see the peacock feathers and, you know, sometimes you think of a peacock as like an energy. Oh, they like to strut their stuff and, you know, kind of egotistical kind of energy. But I'm not really getting that. I think, you know, they're proud of who they are, what they've accomplished. Um, but not like in the ego kind of way. I feel like they have a lot of love in their heart to give. So I've seen the green here. I'm seeing all this green here. It's like they're praying and hoping for their special someone in a way. Okay. They're praying for their Scorpio. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> what is the love energy like? Of course, we could get to the tarot and it could totally change. So and that's happened a few times. So I hope not. So let's see. For Scorpio spirit, please. What is the love energy like for this person, for this person coming in? I get a feeling, too, this person knows how to manifest, like pray, meditate, manifest things in their life also. Did you see this person, like, praying, meditating? All right. That's way too many. Let's get one for Scorpio, this incoming person. What is their love energy like, please? Thank you so much. What is their love energy like? Oh, there we go. I could feel, I could feel that one wanted to fly. So let's see what we have. Rising above, clarity, freedom, solution, 11. 11 to me is always half of the twin flame number. But then you have two and that's unity. Clarity, freedom, and solution. I feel like they're praying for a solution to this world right now. They're wanting, they're just wanting... Because look at these two energies, how they're very calm, peaceful, tranquil, tranquil. The dove to me always represents peace, harmony, tranquility, um, that kind of energy. It's like, you know, will there be a solution to this so we can have freedom once again? Will there be clarity? They're, I think they're praying and they're hoping for clarity. Um, also, rising above this. I feel like they want a very peaceful, harmonious, happy union, a very tranquil, maybe spiritual union too, also, um, in a partner. A lot of communication and clarity between two, you know, where if there's any problems arise, you can find solutions together. Um, but yet again, keeping kind of like with that freedom, like an independent energy uh, between the two of you, like being together, but like they like to be together yet yeah, have some freedom do the, do the things that they uh, would like to do as they would like to give their person freedom to do what they would like to do also you see spreading their wings and flying but always returning is what the message i just got so okay scorpio let's clarify this energy for you scorpio everything you need to know scorpio is down below in the description box um how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, and links to buy them if you choose to. Playlists, if you'd like to go back, I consider my readings timeless. Um, if you'd like to donate, send a gift, or anything like that, that's below, as well as the pin top comment. If you're not comfortable using PayPal during the premiere, only Super Chat is open and available for tips and donations if you choose to. And if you do, thank you. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out if you like the channel or check it out first. Um, you get five readings a month, a love connection, a singles, a spirit messages, a general, and a bonus where we take a little look at everything, love, life, and then advice. So, all right, Scorpio, Scorpio, what is this energy of this person? 
the Scorpio new love coming in. <clears throat> they may be kind of boring. I just got that message. <laughs> they may be kind of so calm, peaceful, tranquil. I mean, they do have some fire and passion within them, but I think they may be so calm and peaceful that you may at first think they're kind of boring. All right, so... Okay, and they may, you know, you may not be even interested in, in them at first, is what I'm kind of getting. So let's see for this person. All right, so we got the Two of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. For so someone who's a little indecisive here and needs to make decisions. But here's an offer, you know, giving an offer, receiving an offer, something stable, grounded, and long term, and sincere. The Page of Pentacles, sincere communication. All right, let's get more energy of this person. All right. I feel like, you know, they see the uncertainty in the world right now, and they're wondering, you know, when are we going to gain clarity, like feeling like everyone has blindfolders on, like they don't know, everyone's arguing, fighting, there's no clear solution, you know, everybody feels like they have blinders on, being, you know, isolated from the world. You know, wanting to reach out, talk to people, and things like that. All right, so what else here? So, wow. So we have the Three of Cups, which is about reuniting, celebrating. And then we have the High Priestess. So very, so yeah, I felt that this person can be very spiritual. And they're longing to unite and come together and offer their pentacle to someone who's also very spiritual, who listens to their intuition, knows how to follow their intuition. They also are in this energy, but they're also a person who doesn't really, uh, they could be very private and they don't like to share a lot about their life, especially their love life or their significant other to others either. Yeah, because we have commitment, long-term commitment, marriage kind of energy here. So I feel like when they're in a commitment or when they have a commitment, you know, the commitment that they have, you know, very spiritual energy, but also very private energy. So they want to unite with someone who is also in the same energy here. Someone stable, grounded, someone they can offer their pentacle to that they, you know, won't be indecisive about. So I do believe this is the after tarot. So... Because this person now, usually in a regular tarot deck, has the swords guarding their heart. Now this person has two people, I guess, fighting over them. And a choice will be made. <coughs> so they want to make sure that they make the right choice and offer their pentacle to somebody, uniting with somebody who has the same spiritual energy as them, as at the same level as them, in a commitment or marriage here but also very private because the high priestess doesn't really say much either though she knows a lot so that's what i'm feeling with that so we do have virgo taurus capricorn here so there could be an earth energy all right so let's see let's see and the hierophant is all about faith spirituality religion so is it the high priestess and listening to your higher knowing being spiritually connected to your higher self. All right, so we have two twos, three, five. We have 16 up there, which is seven, which is a very divinely guided spiritual number. I think I spoke of that. So actually we have three twos. We have two. Oh, that's 11. We have 11 up there. So let's see like where and how you may meet this person. For you, Scorpio, for Scorpio single, new love. Okay. So we have the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Wands. All right, let me pull a few more, and I'll read the energy as a whole as to how and where you can meet this person. All right, so they could be in construction. I don't know. That's just a message I just got. It could be in landscaping or construction. Um, okay, let's see. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles. 
<clears throat> in the Nine of Swords. Yeah, because I see, you know, holding the sword and then the wand, like holding in um, action. Because this person is getting ready to slay that dragon. I'm not saying they're a dragon slayer, but um, physical activity, I'm feeling. And you see this woman, like, man or woman out in the garden. Kind of, you know, <clears throat> picking her fruit. She has all her pentacles here. So they could be in construction or they could be uh, in landscaping. Or something like that where either they build something they build they could be a, a wielder also like work with metal I feel like they work with their hands whatever they do here because you see many things here so they could you know craft or build many things they could even work in a, work in a factory uh, but I feel like they work with their hands so how you may meet them is um, you know you could be walking by a construction construction site or maybe uh, somewhere where they're working because you see this man or woman whatever here is outside so I feel like you somehow are either at a place where they're working doing work or maybe you're you know inquiring about um, an object or, or, or a craft or something or uh, getting work done to your house or your yard or something like that and that could be how you meet this person is what I'm feeling Okay, <clears throat> so let's get possible time frame for you, possible time frame for you, Scorpio, Scorpio, <clears throat> Scorpio, time frame, Oop. pentacle energy, so that's fall. Fall. So they definitely could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have the Earth energy here, so here it is coming. They could even own their own business um, of some sort, you know, landscaping or uh, construction, or even um, what do they call those companies that sell like gravel and things like that? I mean, they could own some sort of. Um, or a metal company, or, or scrap metal, I don't know, something like that. And then we have the four of wands. So that's, that's spring. So we're in spring right now, so I can't really count that. But there's the home again. So I feel like <clears throat> you could be ordering something for your home, for your outside, for your yard, maybe gravel or uh, mulch, I don't know, something like that. And you see, like, I'm getting, like, purchasing here. So this definitely could be in the fall time. And maybe the, they're the owner. And you see the home energy here. So something with your home, I'm feeling, for some of you. So whoever that resonates for, but I'm feeling fall, fall energy. Definitely heavy um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn here with the page and the king. I'm only using the court cards as sign reference instead of all the majors because it would be too confusing here so what kind of connection would this be for Scorpio so the page of wands now we have some fire energy so I did say I felt like they do have a little bit of fire passion within them so this is good news coming in passionate communication also <clears throat> So, what else here? Seven of Pentacles energy here. Again, we're getting, see the working with their hands. So I feel like, you know, this is an energy, Seven of Pentacles of patiently waiting. I feel like this person, or it could be you, has prayed and patiently, uh, patience here. So it could be this person of investing, assessing, even life review, um, investments for the future you know wanting to offer their you know fire their passion uh to somebody here but patiently waiting i feel for the right one and then we have knight of wands so they could be either leo sag aries or virgo taurus capricorn i have both in their chart so he is moving forward i mean the knight of wands can be a player 
<clears throat> but I'm not, I mean, we do have the three of cups up here, but then we have the Hierophant. So, and then the four of wands, which is my twin flame card. But, uh, it's got to clarify for the Knight of Wands. I feel like, you know, that's just moving forward. A lot of drive, passion, ambition, taking movement forward. Or it could be a player energy, but I didn't really get that energy. But, um, let's clarify the Knight of Wands. Why is that here? For Scorpio, this incoming person. What do we have here? Well, we got the Four of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Tower. So, you know, the Four of Cups, disenchantment, melancholy about love, love in general, unsure, you know, taking an offer and pouring it out. <laughs> and then we have, you know, being left out in the cold here, abandoned, neglected. You know, maybe they offered their cup to people in the past and they just got rejected. Also, then we have the tower here, which is an epiphany, aha moment, surprise, shake up, breakdown uh, kind of energy. So it could be, you know, maybe they offered their cup, they were rejected. Of course, you know, probably hit them really hard every time they were rejected from the past. So, I mean, we ha do have the Seven of Pentacles, which is kind of a slow moving, patient, waiting kind of energy. So maybe they're afraid, a little afraid here to move too fast with the Knight because they may feel like they may get rejected again. Wow. Okay. The lovers yeah you can see only two people here so this is soulmate energy so yeah i feel like uh they're going to want to move this forward and then offer make you an offer but they may wait because they have fear of being rejected and they don't want to be hurt again like in the past but i feel like they do want soulmate union here and they probably will see you as the one for them their soulmate their lover but i think they may take their time before offering uh Either something committed or long term or something like that. So they may want to just date for a while. Also, I mean, they may want to date and say, you know, I want to see other people too. Or they may say that, but they may not. Because <laughs> we do have the three cups up there. But I do feel like um, they see you as the one for them. Hangman. So, you know, pause, a break. But gaining enlightenment, uh, new perspectives here. That this is my ten of pentacle person long-term commitment, long-term uh, legacy of the family dynamic. Rushing in quickly with the Knight of Swords here. So they could be, um, now we have air energy, so it could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <clears throat> the Four of Swords, which is different energy of rest, recuperation. So yeah, we have two conflicting energies of, you know, taking time alone and not taking action and rushing in quickly. And the Ace of Cups, so divinely guided, brain new beginning in love. And the Ace of Wands, fire, passion, excitement, and fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction. So this is divinely guided energy, passion, and love. But I feel like they're going to be conflicted whether or not to take it slow or rush right in here. So they may have to take a pause, a break here to think about this. But once they become enlightened, then here's the marriage and the long-term commitment here. So I feel like... They may be just a little afraid of being rejected again. If they did offer their cup to somebody in the past and got rejected, I think it really uh, was a heavy blow to them. So I think they're going to take their time this time, and they may just, you know, come in and out a little bit or may say, okay, I want to date other people. And I have a feeling they probably won't. I think they're, they're just saying that uh, to make it look like, you know, they're not so serious, but... This is what they're really feeling inside is the lovers here. Soulmate energy. Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.